Welcome to the Jesse and Angela Love, Love Show. Show. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming out to watch us and view us. We're really glad that y'all guys are just being in one accord with the Lord Jesus Christ. And we have a powerful message that we want to set it out before you. Um, before we do anything, we want to tell you um, that we are praying for the people that are living in Philippines. Um, even the family members that are in the United States, we're praying for their families because they had this past week a, a major flood that took place. Yes. The river got really flooded and it happened in the middle of the night on a Friday. Well, Friday for us is actually Thursday, so actually it happened Friday in the middle of the night. And they happened to um, had a tremendous rain, so they had a major flood that actually had killed 500 people, and it had it has been going up. So it, it might be up in six to 600 to a thousand people, and they're still going through the rumbles trying to find and help people out and everything like that. And we're just praying for them and praying for the family that are here that are that have family in philippines and um we just praying that you know y'all just stand your grounds and we're praying that you you know to seek the lord jesus christ for savior as as your personal savior because that's the only way that you'll be able to have eternal life if you be you want walk with him so um you know you have to drop all those idols and you know and all those worshiping false gods and all the things that is not um right in the in the eyes of the lord and then we also want to say um happy holidays to everyone because it's yes. getting closer and closer to the the christmas and new year's and i know some of you are preparing the the gifts has changed and some of you may not have the money and all that don't stress yourself out this holiday season is not worth it just have yourself a blessed time enjoy yourself enjoy your family if it's just having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with milk it's better than nothing so you know don't don't overboard yourself on trying to outdo and try to make you know rob peter to pay paul to try to make ends meet because you're trying to keep the tradition going sometimes you just have to let that tradition go and try to make sure that your family is safe and they have food on the table and you have clothes on your on your back and have a roof over your head that's all that matters and just keep jesus in your heart and and strive for him more and more every day because you never know this is your you may, may it may not be your time but you never know you just can't take things for granted so we just want to bring those messages out to you so um, now we're going to go into this wonderful word that Jesse has for us. And, and we hope and pray that this message will be inspiring and, and help lift you up during the times of not only this time of the holidays, but every day. Make this day not just, just one time affair, but every day a personal enrichment with the Lord Jesus Christ. Because we're not promised for tomorrow. Or then we're not really really promised for this time that we have at this moment so just take time out listen let the holy ghost empower you and and have you have him to lead you in the direction that you need to go so you can you too can be able to empower the word to others so they too can be saved so we want to say god bless and yes. jesse and Go ahead right. with your word, and we just, we're just we so eager to hear yes. what you have to say that the Lord has sure. in your heart. <clears throat> and if there's anybody else that's in on the faces of this earth and the other parts of the world, global part, we also are praying for you, even if we didn't get the news of any uh, tragics, uh, you know, sudden tragics, you know, the unexpected tragics, some that you know that was going to happen. In your family and around around the world, um, we are praying for uh, for you all as well. Um, I would love for everyone to go to the Book of Daniel, preferably the King James Version. Uh, we're gonna cover all the thighs and thieves and that that's in King James. Um, but uh, it's, it's a rich uh, Bible. It's rich with a lot of good word and written very well. So uh, I would like for you to go to. The, Daniel the sixth chapter uh, covering in verse 1 and verse 2 and verse 10.
the first chap, the sixth chapter, verse 1, 2, and 10. And it pleased Darius to set over the kingdom in 120 uh, and 20 princes, which should be over the whole kingdom. Verse 2, the sixth chapter of Daniel, if you just came in. And over these three, I repeat, and over these three presidents, of whom Daniel was first, that the princes might give accounts unto them. That's the three presidents. And the king should have no damage or no loss. Verse 10. Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house and his windows being open, Daniel windows, imagine that, being open, and his chamber, that's where he lived, towards Jerusalem. And he kneeled down upon his knees three times a day, the Bible said, and prayed and gave thanks before God as he did a four time. So this is something that Daniel did daily, three times a day. And the reason why I brought that point out is that the king had preferred Daniel above them all because Daniel stood out. He wanted to make him rule above all the presidents and all the princes. They had 120, not in the governors and everybody else because he had, the Bible said, an excellent spirit. So the key note is that verse 10, and I read again, now when Daniel knew that the writings, the writing was signed, the window, he went into his house, I'll read it again. Let me read it again. Now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house and his window being open, windows being open in his chamber towards Jerusalem. Notice he went towards Jerusalem. This is where he prayed towards Jerusalem. And he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before the God of his God as he did aforetime. The title of this message, Holding Your Position. The title of this message is Holding Your Position. In a time like this, we know that Daniel was, uh, his name means God is judge. In one Hebrew setting, it said his name mean, it, it's uh, meaning a divine judge. Yeah. So we in the Old Testament, the book of Daniel, the sixth chapter, and we know Daniel and the others were Jews were captive and, and placed in Babylon. We know Daniel um, was blessed because of his gift that he had. He was able to interpret dreams that nobody else could interpret. The soothsayers, the um, witches, or whatever you want to call them, warlocks or whatever, even today, um, the Lord has allowed a lot of preachers and teachers and everybody to interpret dreams, to able to uh, decipher what the word, what the Lord is saying to us all over the world. The biggest problem that many have today is holding their position as a Christian. 
Daniel, the word holding means to keep or retain. Daniel held his position in spite of the conspiracy to have him not only removed as a president, but not even being uh, nominated as uh, over all of them, as Darius had desired to have him. Remember, Darius took the kingdom of Belshazzar. We know the story about that. But holding your position, Daniel held his position when they found occasion against him. Not one where he had error or he had fault. Daniel was faultless among in that kingdom. Daniel did no wrong there. He did what was right and that's why he was chosen. And here's the strangest thing. He was captain and everything else. He wasn't even of that kingdom, but here Daniel was placed a president like the other ones were, the Medes and the Persians. But they wanted to get Daniel out of that. They didn't want Daniel to become over, be over them because Daniel had an excellent spirit. Now, here's the thing. This is how they set up Daniel. Daniel was set up because they couldn't find anything else against him. But the only thing they could find out, uh, find against him, is the law of that uh, law of his God. Daniel, daily and occasionally and all the time, um, prayed unto his God, not theirs. So this is the one they were going to find against him, so not to find against what they did in the uh, early part of Daniel, the book of Daniel, where uh, they didn't bow down the Hebrew. Me and then Shadrach, Shadrach, Abednego, and uh, what's the other one? Oh, the, uh, I left the other guy out. Oh, yes, the, uh, oh. Oh, it's in yeah, there. Yeah, I, I, let me. Hey, it was just blank, it was just one blank. That's okay. Shamrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yes, so, uh, and that's not, I'm glad the Lord didn't make me focus on them because that's not the subject today. The subject is holding your position. They did hold their position as well. Under, under fire if you want to say you can cover that yourself <laughs> but this is Daniel was holding his position he was an older man to, too now because he was taken uh, from his Jerusalem as a younger man him and the rest of them and uh, now he's an older man but he's holding his position we have to hold our position in the Lord now here's the thing about this Daniel uh, was preferred before everybody else that means he stood out like more than anybody else for to be over all of them. Mm -hmm. So they didn't want that to happen. So they found something. They they psyched up. They made the king look so great and placed him as a god. And here's the thing. I know in the book it says to save, accept. That means the word save means to accept you and make the king as a god. Nobody couldn't bow or worship any other God but that king for 30 days. Within that 30, 30 days, nobody else could serve or worship any other gods. No idols, no silver, no nothing but that king. But Daniel had a commitment and a devotion unto the Lord like we do, we should today have constantly a devotion unto the Lord. That means that you have to hold your position right. in the Lord. And Daniel knew that they had used the king to destroy Daniel, to uh, literally kill Daniel, mm -hmm. to get him out of there, to destroy him, take him from his position. You have to hold your position, holding your position. Take him from his position, from his household and everything else. Obvious Daniel was doing well in the kingdom. He looked good. He was dressed well. He had the education that he needed for that kingdom. He, had the, he ran things well. So the king saw something great in him that he wanted to be uh, over all the other ones. He wanted that same spirit. And the only way to get that is have the person that has that spirit to run the kingdom. So they, they try, they, like they say, they constantly sought occasions like they do in your life. They saw people suit uh, constantly trying to find something against you, trying to find something in your workplace or your business or wherever you work 
in a government uh, setting or whatever against you so that you won't be promoted because you're doing the right things. You're not making errors. You, you're not uh, doing things that are uh, contrary to the system that they have. And they're trying to find an occasion against you. They're trying to find occasion against us as a Christian evangelists. They're trying to find occasions all the time through our loved ones. They'll use our loved ones to do those things. They'll use employers to do that if you work for them. They use biz, uh, businesses, other businesses to come against you and everything else. They're trying to find something against you like they did Daniel. Well, Daniel held his position in the Lord. We have to hold our position in the Lord Jesus Christ. Even though that they had got a royal decree where Daniel had to worship the king and nothing else, everybody. If not, you would be destroyed, killed. That was a petition that he had came against. They psyched the king up to sign this. Yes, they did. They had his head all in Hollywood, <laughs> making him think so great of himself. But they didn't know, King didn't know that they were setting up Daniel. If so, King would not have signed that. So King Darius, the Medes and Persians never change the, the rule once they do something. They have to go by it. So um, once they found that they, they watched, they actually watched, they had more than one witness to watch uh, Daniel pray. And they all went back to the king and told him, did you make a decree, a royal decree that um, they had to serve, they had to worship you, in other words, within those 30, day, 30 days. And he said, you know, yeah, I did. Well, Daniel was not doing it. Daniel had turned to his own God and worship. That's right. So the king had to stand by what he had uh, signed and sealed as a decree they took Daniel and threw him in the lion's den That's right. he was among hungry lions male and female that have me but Daniel stood on his faith in the Lord and the Bible said that he kneeled down towards Jerusalem and prayed three times a day never stop never stop doing what he's supposed to have done that's what we must do we're going to have occasion against us. We're going to have people going to try to find things against us. Oh, yeah. But we must hold, you must hold, we must hold our position in the Lord Jesus Christ. When you're at the job, you must hold your position in the Lord Jesus Christ. They're going to have all kinds of things going on. You got to let them. I told one lady, she told me that uh, you represent, you know what? I said, I represent the Lord Jesus Christ. She hasn't said nothing to me since. Because I stood up. I wasn't going to back down. When I was in the military, Marine Corps, I wasn't going to back down if something was wrong. I, I didn't worry. When I was younger, when people tried to turn, uh, uh, say I did something I didn't do, I didn't back down. I said, no, I didn't do it. Regardless if you're going to put me in jail, I wasn't going to I wasn't gonna let you, uh, I wasn't going to say that I did something I didn't do. I held my position. I held my position in Marine Corps. I spoke up. I spoke up when things were, weren't right for me as and for the color of my skin. Oh yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So don't think that it doesn't happen still. It is. You got to hold your position. If you're in the military, you have to hold your position as a Christian. Mm -hmm. Rather, how much consequence that you may have. You must hold your position in the Lord. As a preacher, as a pastor, you must hold your position in the Lord. If you pray three times a day, you won't be in there banging no kids. That's right. You ain't going to be banging no boys and all of that stuff. You ain't going to be doing all of that stuff. If you have help your position. If you hold your position, you're not going to be doing all of those things. Right. I know right. I use that word. That's a street word. But it's having sexual intercourse with kids. Even call, although the state would say that they are old enough to understand this and that. But, still. but you would hold your position in the Lord, even though that you know that some of them might have a homosexuality uh, problem. Even though that they have a thieving problem, a, play, a place of, or this and that. You have to hold your position. Even though the person may look fantastic to you in your eyes. You have to hold your position. Even though the money might look good and how you can deceive people and this and that. You must hold your position in church as well in your workplace and everything. Or even though that you may have the power 
to uh, retrieve uh, different information to destroy people and they ain't done nothing, they haven't done nothing to you, you must hold your position. Kings in Jamaica, Christians there must hold their position in the Lord. That's right. Don't go back. Because right. a lot of people have gone back in the Lord. That's gone back in their old ways. We must hold our position, even though we only have something to, you know, food to eat, a place to stay. We lost everything else. We must hold our position that's in the right. Lord. And that's the shield of faith that we must have in the Lord. We must fight the good fight of faith. Daniel did. They fast and pray when situation when they had sackcloth cloth and off I mean uh, on them. They prayed. They held their position. Daniel held his position, even though that he knew that, that what was going to consequence of what was going to happen to him. He held his position. Right. Exactly. So uh, we we know many men and women in the Bible held their position. Esther held her position, hallelujah, in the Lord. She could have turned and said, okay, I'm going to save myself. Exactly. But she didn't. Exactly. And, her, and, and our, uh, her uh, loved one, the kinsman, told her not to do it that way. Because you're going to be killed too, exactly. eventually. Exactly. You got to hold your position. You can't change on the Lord because of uh, their policies and everything change. Even if this world or even United States, if things start changing, you cannot change your 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 uh, policies. They have same-sex marriage in some states. We have to hold our position in the Lord on those things. That's right. We love people regardless of what uh, who they marry. But you, as a, a person, even if you came out of homosexuality, male or female, right. children, some children are homosexuals. Trust me, they right. are. You have to hold your position. You can't do what they're doing. You can't pick up their spirits even though they're working for you or whatever, you have to hold your position. Nor of them held their position, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Especially when um, the Lord has seen how they had not changed their heart, their mind. They were still sinning before the Lord. He seen, Jesus had seen, the Lord has seen how Noah was righteous in the eyes of the Lord. He's seen how he was obedient. When, when the Lord had told Noah to build the ark because he already had in mind to destroy the world okay and everything that was on that world okay so what he done he instructed him about what he all uh, the animals they had they couldn't be sick they couldn't have any blemishes or anything because guess what they was going to be inside that ark for 40 days and 40 nights so if you take just one of the animals that are sick guess what you're going to have a whole herd of, of death and that's not what he wanted he wanted to be able to replenish the earth after the, the earth had been destroyed so the the point is is that for 120 years that Nora has been preaching as well as trying to save as many souls as he possibly could so they too would not have been destroyed these are loved ones these are family members these are friends and neighbors these are people that he knew workmen and all these other stuff as he was still preaching to these people he was still continue to build this ark he was still getting his household in order all these things for 120 years he held his position until the time was right until he had to get everybody in that ark his three sons his three and his daughter-in-laws and his wife and himself entered into that that um ship because it was a ship his ark is a ship that held every every nick and cranny of everything in there to help to replenish this earth as we have now. So That's today, right. we have to do the same thing. Yeah. We have to hold our ground. We have to hold our position right. in the Lord Jesus Christ. And when we hold our position in the Lord Jesus Christ, wherever we go, uh, guess what we cause? Others to become Christians. Uh, others to fear us as Christians. Exactly. Because after he held his position, he was thrown into the lion's den. But before that, uh, uh, Darius talked to him and everything, and he was really, he couldn't eat that night because of the situation that he had done. He didn't want to hear no Darius the king. He didn't want to hear no music or nothing because he had um, destroyed someone that he was going to uh, promote. And someone he cared about and everything. He said he thought that, oh my God, I'm going to kill Daniel. You know, in, in mind, you know what I mean? But he couldn't eat. Right. 
because his mind was on it, trying to figure out a way to, to, to get him out of it, but right. he couldn't. Because right. he had that royal decree is you can't change. Right. You can't uh, change against that. And they reminded him dearly. dearly. <laughs> they remind him surely of that. So, uh, and they remind him where Daniel came from, too. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have people like that, no matter who they are or what they do. You don't have people in your love and your family members doing the same thing. They're going to always bring up about what you've done or try to bring stuff against you so you won't prosper in the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. They see goodness in you and how you up there trying to save many souls as possible because you're not promised on this earth you're not guaranteed if you won't be here the next hour but the thing is you have to hold your position right. in all that you do that is if that's right in the eyes of the lord that's right that's what we're the message is really pertaining to the christian because we have to hold our position north korea christians have to hold their uh position Kingston, Jamaica, and all parts of Jamaica has to hold their position. Exactly. United Kingdom Christians uh, from England to London to Paris and all these other places, you have to hold your position. Exactly. The continent of Africa, Ethiopia, the country of Ethiopia, S Sudan, South and North, as Christians, you have to hold your position. I'm not talking about earrings and all of that. That ain't that's that that's the Lord had already given to us, was planted right. in before we were born. And in, in Adam and Eve. That's not on time. I'm talking about as a Christian. Right. Right. Nothing wrong with all of that stuff. I'm talking about holding your position uh, as a righteous person, holding your position when you cause see, remember, the lot a lot of the Jews at that time, I mean during uh, many times in the Old Testament in the history that they worship they turned to idol gods Daniel they did right. Wherever they were if they were captive and they were bonds or whatever they they held their position mm -hmm. Those men and women held their position in the Lord in the Lord God Hallelujah, so you have to hold your position because when you hold your position You'll see the glory of the Lord come out of that exactly. because the lions did not bite or scratch or touch Daniel. Exactly. Their mouths was closed through the Lord. Of course, his angels had closed the lion's mouth. They were hungry, right. but they did not touch him. So the king came back. He rushed early in the morning to see what Daniel was there. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And the Lord uh, had delivered Daniel. Have your the God delivered you? I remember him saying. I can imagine how he felt so exceedingly glad, the Bible said, mm -hmm. when, he, when he found out that Daniel was still alive. Because no Amen. way that he should have been alive. That's when you are among the lions, and that's the world, Amen. that's Amen. the principalities, and that's the rulers of the darkness, you want to hold your position. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Every Christian all over the world must hold their position. Hallelujah. Because you're going to see the glory of the Lord. Now here's the glory of this. He held his position. In the lion's den, imagine it didn't smell good down there, of course. <laughs> it smelled like a bunch of lions. There was a stinky thing. Sometimes you're in a stinky situation, stinky situation, but you must hold your position. Hallelujah. And that's the shield of faith that Daniel had among the Lord. Christians today must have the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation. What is the breastplate of righteousness? Your feet shine for the gospel of peace. You must hold your position, the shell of faith. You must have the love of the Lord in you to hold your position. When everything has gone wrong, you must hold your position. So here's the thing. After all of that, the king pulled Daniel up out of there, ordered him out of there. And everybody that was against Daniel, all your enemies, you got to be careful, enemies. Either you come with us or you suffer the consequence. That's why I say Christians, you gotta hold your position because you can make more states, more places in your country, more Christian than now. I use it in that way. Make them more Christian than they were before if you hold your position. Hallelujah. Right. Some of you may die, but you may hold your position. Right. Many people have died and people held their position and it may encourage and strengthen other people to hold their position. Right. So they pulled Daniel out because the king ordered. He didn't already did his work job of going thrown in the lion's den. It didn't happen. It didn't kill him. 
they kept them. So the family members of those people that was against them, which was the prince, 120 prince, and all the two other presidents, and all the governors and all of those people were thrown into the lion's den. I don't know if they throw them there once. I guess they had a whole lot of lions <laughs> because they had a lot of food to eat. That's a lot. Not, not only did they eat them, but they ate their family members as well. Wow. Family members, wives and children, was eaten. And he made a decree among all of them. All nations. Remember that he had control of the whole earth, the Bible said. All nations and languages. And they're written in all those languages to let you know that you better serve the God that Daniel served. That's right. <laughs> and when you hear something, you better you better not say nothing against the God that Daniel served. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. I know for sure, being a Christian, that people came against me and threatened my life several times. I had to go and help one guy, except two guys. One I couldn't help. He was beyond. He had shot himself in the head. He was gonna kill the whole family one time and but he was talking to the lady on the phone his ex his wife and, and blew his head off then that's the same man that I witnessed to him when he was about to attack me because he was beating his wife up there one time and I was I had a bas basket full of things after that was the day after and I told I witnessed to him I had a big basket thank God I didn't have you know empty hands Lord knew that we would have been you know fighting, fighting. Cause I'm gonna protect myself. Don't get me wrong. Being a Christian, don't think I'm not gonna protect myself. You got it wrong. Um, so um, I said that you need. Um, you, you shouldn't have done that. Uh, that you know he's he backslid. So later on, two months later, cause he was gonna kill everybody anyway after that. That he had uh, shot himself in the head. So some things you have to be careful. And the other guy had came up against me. Several guys. Some of them got killed, put in prison, all of this. Lord eliminated. One guy had to uh, go to his house because somebody said he had got shot in the stomach by a gang member. Wow. And I had called the police for him. Shot in the stomach. L listen, when you get shot a certain part of your abdominal, it might, you might get shot towards the rib or whatever. You can die quick because the, um, you can lose a lot of fluids. Yeah, especially your pancreas. And, and uh, yeah. Stomach so, and some of the, the bowels and all the other stuff. So yeah, you know, you, you just have to. It's a shameful thing to be against a, the Christians because yeah. it's like you might as well take a rope and jump down in the, the deep parts of the ocean with a to get you a brick or whatever, uh, whatever you want, and put it around your neck and do it because you don't want to be um, fighting against a Christian or trying to do things against a Christian because the Lord has some things for you. He want to save you, but. But on the other hand, if you want to, you know, decide that you're going to go against us, it's going to be a bad road for you. And Christians, we are no Holy people. Holding position, go ahead. We understand that we all go through trials and tribulations. People are talking and lies on us and try to do all kinds of things to get us out of certain places and everything. That's what it's trying to do, move you out of positions. You got to hold, hold your position. Hold your position. Don't be vindictive and try to, well, what he did to me or what she did to right. me, I'm gonna go back and do it to them. Because guess what? You will lose your blessing. And they become victorious over you. The enemy will come victorious over you because you did not hold your position in the Lord Jesus Christ. So regardless of how painful it is and all the things that you see that you know that's wrong, you stand your grounds, you hold your position, and you allow the Lord to fight your battles. Right. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. That's his vengeance, not ours. Okay? The only vengeance that we have is trying to get that word in us to fight those enemies that keep on attacking us every chance it gets. Even right. when we in our dreams. I'm fighting, speaking in tongues, and trying to get these enemies off of me because it's trying to move me out of my position. And I'm standing and holding on to my position in my ground. So please don't try to find dirt on somebody else because they found something on you or trying to find something on you so that they can move you out of the way so they can have your position or, or your spot or whatever you, you are in, okay? Yeah, just, that's old news. Anything that you can find on the old things yes. on you, that's just old news. It's all right. 
But some of it's not true anyway, but exactly. you just to hold your position in the Lord, Jesus Christ. Exactly. And I'm sure that if you had, your ears are open, and your mind, your heart is ready for, to have, you know, to receive the Lord Jesus Christ, you would have gotten something out of this message. Yes. Holding your position. And that's in the book of Daniel. But there's a lot of, like I said, a lot of people that held their position exactly. in the Bible. And you can follow them, if you know, follow some of the uh, models of some of the men and women in the Bible that held their position Amen. in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So we hope and pray that this message was so enlightening in right. your spirit right. as it has in ours. Oh, and we yes. just pray for you and your, your family for safety and as well as y'all have a wonderful, wonderful. holiday. Oh and God. wonderful holidays. Exactly. And hold your position while you're in the exactly, exactly. If you have a diet that you have to hold your position. Stick to your diet. Control that. Exactly. When you cook, control it. Exactly. Use certain things and this and that. Exactly. Make sure you exercise during the holidays. Exactly. Make sure you exercise spiritually. Make sure you keep your mind and pray like Daniel did, regardless of where you are and who you're with. Hold your position. Amen. So we just say God bless. We love you. We love you. And until we meet again, happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs>